Touchdown Tar Heels. Now he gives it to Logan. Full head of steam. Makes a cut and he could go. He will score. 42 yards. Looking deep for Hollins. He makes the grab. Touchdown North Carolina. Still on his feet at the 10. Logan does it again. Well, now we reset our goals. Our goal now will be to be ACC champions. We've got enough players on this team to win. Inside the program with the North Carolina Tar Heels, I'm with head coach Larry Fedora in the weight room. You know a little something about pumping iron. No dad bods over here, boss. What time are you going to get it in today? Uh, I usually try to get it in on noon on Wednesday, so uh, you guys make it hard on me this week. <laughs> yeah, we're in your way. That's uh, exactly right. Going back to Bank of America Stadium. Before we get to Saturday, let's go back to the last time you were at Bank of America Stadium. Lost a game you should have won. That's right. You walked in that locker room and looked at those young men. What was your message? Well, we talked about one game's not going to define a season or define a team, and so it was more about is it going to refine us instead of define us. And so I think uh, our guys, that was the point in the season that I decided, you know what, these guys got something, and there's a chance that we have to be, you know, this could be a special team because of the way they reacted after that game. It is a special team. You've reeled off 11 straight since that time. You remind me a little bit of a team I've spent some time with, the Ohio State Buckeyes, one year ago. So let's say, hypothetically, you beat Clemson Saturday. What's your message to that committee that says we belong in the Final Four? Well, we, we beat the number one team in the country and the, and the consensus number one team, the number one team that's been there for quite a while, then we are deserving. This team's deserving to be in that playoff and see what we can do. When you look at your dream when you walked in the doors here at North Carolina, what was that dream and how does reality compare? Well, I'd say the dream was to, uh, to get this program to be a perennial contender. And I'd say right now, reality-wise, we're getting really close. How close? Where, 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 where is this program in the national scope in your mind? Well, I think we're getting stronger every, every week. Every time we go out on the field and play, I think we get more recognition, and I think that we get more respect. Okay, you've studied Clemson already. We're getting towards Saturday. When you look at what they do on both sides of the football, how complete is that opponent? They're a really good football team. I mean, they're the number one team in the country and very deserved so. I mean, uh, they... Uh, Offensively, they can, they can do it all. They can run, they can throw, they got a great quarterback, they got great running back, they got great skill guys, their offensive line solid. You go on the other side of the ball, uh, they're the number one defense in the country and uh, uh, allowing third downs to be converted. I mean, they're like 24%. I mean, they're, uh, they're, they're really good up front. They're great in the back end. Uh, they, can, they can do it all. They can stop the run, they can stop the pass, they can get heat on a quarterback. So we, our guys understand what we're going to have to do. We, we know how we're going to have to play. Uh, we're not going to have to jump over any small buildings or anything like that. <laughs> we aren't. We're just going to have to go out there and play football, the, you know, our style of ball. In a lot of ways, so goes Marquise Williams, so go the North Carolina Tar Heels. How much has your quarterback grown? Oh, tremendously. And if you just take a look at him from the first game of the season to where he is now, I mean, he's matured as a, as a man. He's matured as a quarterback. Uh, he's so comfortable in everything he does now. Uh, he knows that he can get it done, and I think he really wants to go back into that stadium and prove that he's a much better quarterback than he showed. Last thing, people here in North Carolina, University of North Carolina, basketball is the first thing they think. What, is, what goes through your mind when you hear North Carolina is a basketball school? Well, I think uh, that basketball is the one that built the brand here, and we embrace that because there's not a home or a, a school that we can go into the country they are not going to know the Carolina Blue and the interlocking NC, so we use that. And, uh, but we also believe that football's climbing and that there's no reason why both can't be successful. Well, they certainly are. And with the to the victor goes the spoils. Your name is everywhere because you've built this program. What's it like to see your name with all these job openings everywhere while you're doing this here and focused on that? Yeah, it's, it's flattering. It just means people are recognizing the job that you've really done under the circumstances that we've been and what's going on. And that's a tribute to our staff. Well, you guys are great. 11 and 1. Thank you for having us today, bud. You bet, Marty. Guys, we're inside the program all day with Coach Fedora and his guys here in Chapel Hill. All right, Marty, great job all day. He's got more to come from Chapel Hill. Saturday will mark the fourth time these teams have met as AP ranked teams. If history's any indicator, Clemson will beat the Tar Heels in a close game. They're 3 and 0 against North Carolina when they've met as ranked teams. Each time, the Tigers prevailed by a margin of no more than three points.